Hey guys, welcome back to Anno 1404, and we are here on Chapter 3, Departure for the Promised Land. Build Guy Forkus a harbor and prepare the Crusader fleet for departure. So I'm thinking this mission is about building an army and learning how to use military stuff. And also, disclaimer, I have not played Chapter 3 onwards, so all of this is... I'm going in blind, but from what I understand, the game will tell me stuff I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go on to medium start conditions, and thank you guys so much for joining. Pharaoh himself, Revi, Twitchzer, Crazy2, Newt, Emerald Archer 81, and Grim Toadstool. Thank you so much for joining us here on Twitch, and Super Sajuk is in the chat as a moderator. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this game. All right, it's looking good. Oh, there's totally not bad guy number two. Forgot his name. Uh, I only know Guy Forkus as totally not bad guy number one. Uh, this is totally not bad guy number two. So let's see what this one is all about. Finish the witch's makeup. There's witches? Are witches a part of this game? Forecast the weather? Hmm. Guy Forkus is a nice guy. Well, not so far. <laughs> is that the Pope? That is not the Pope. I think he's a, what is he, a Cardinal? Lucius, that's his name, right? Lucius. Is he a Cardinal? Or is he an Archbishop? I'm not too sure. He's not the Pope. <laughs> Here we go. Cardinal Lucius. The mere mention of his name made men shiver and fall silent. Although it was never mentioned openly, rumor had it he pursued his interests with merciless rigor. Is this why the Emperor gave him command of the Crusade? Or had Lucius acquired his powers by more sinister means? While the whole world was wondering what the Cardinal was planning, he was already thinking of building a harbor from which the massive army would soon set sail for the Orient to seize the promised land. Well, there you have it. Cardinal Lucius, totally not bad guy number two. Um, let's set sail. <laughs> I bestow on you the honor of building the harbor for my crusader army. The fleet will set sail from there and with God's blessing, will vanquish the faithless enemy. All right, looks like it's all about military this time. Let's learn how to build an army. Give him what's coming to him. But my lord, you only have me to thank that the preparations have run so smoothly up to now. Allow me, your loyal servant, to take care of everything from now on. Calling it, Guy Fawkes tries to overthrow Cardinal Lucius for power. I'm calling it now. <laughs> From now on, I am making you personally responsible for everything, Curtis. Make sure that the fleet is soon ready to depart. The vocal levels are just all over the place in this game. You heard the Cardinal. I have the say here. But don't worry. There will be enough menial tasks I can entrust you with. All right, let's get this started. We have a town to build, or do we actually start with a town? It says we have to build a harbor. Chapter 3, Departure for the Promised Land. Let's get this started. What are you standing around here for? Why don't you build a warehouse where we can store the goods to build the harbor? Build a warehouse. Is that a... don't we... isn't this a warehouse? This is a small warehouse. Guy focus. okay. Build a warehouse to develop Port Sacral in the southwest. Oh, we have to go and colonize this island. Okay, is this our boat? Okay. So we can go ahead and grab some stuff like that and we can go down this way. We'll get that started immediately. Do we want to... What do we have here? 
We've got uh, some hemp going. We've got a cider farm. Uh, we have small market building. Hemp, weaver's hut, hemp, hemp. Rope yard. Okay, so we've got three hemp fields. A weaver's hut and a rope yard. So we're already producing all the stuff that we worked up to last time. But we probably want to expand a bit more. Do we need things like fire station? What other resources are there? No resources available on this island. Okay. Tools are going down. Wood is going down. We might need some extra wood. Because wood is always useful. So let's go ahead and put down a lumberjack's hut. Do come by, and I'll be happy to sell some to you. There we go. Let's put that down, and we'll get a little road going there. Lord Richard Northborough does sell more tools. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Where's a nice spot? Just like that will be fine. You've done it at last. Great. Did it. We can finally start building the actual harbor now. The actual harbor. So, Port Sacral. So, all of these buildings are just being set up. Okay. If a harbor is to be suitable for a crusader army, it must have a harbor master's office. Well, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? A harbor master's office. Is that? So, we need stone to build that, right? It is done. The Crusader ship is finished. May God protect this ship and bless all those who are prepared to fight for the true faith. Well, Marie d'Artois, the very enthusiastic uh, Crusader. The Harbour Master's office must be built of solid stone. Didn't I spot some stone deposits recently when I went to the mountain monastery for my confession with Brother Hilarius? Oh. Hmm. The mountain monastery has stone and iron. Oh, okay, so there's an iron deposit. Where's the stone? Okay, so we've got two stone deposits and an iron deposit. We should start setting up stuff here, right? But we don't have any resources here. So, which means we won't be able to build anything, right? We gotta bring some resources over to the mountain monastery island. Okay, fantastic. We're gonna go buy some tools. We'll stockpile up some wood. Uh, we're going to need to s drop off some tools here. Uh, how are tools... Can someone explain to me how um, tools are are being depleted here? What, what uses up tools? I'm actually not too sure about that. Hmm. What is this? Oh, there's a lumberjack's hut there. Okay, so I got three lumberjack's huts. I think that's a good number to have. All right, let's buy some tools. We'll speed this up. I'm now quite sure of it. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yep, that's what we need. I'm now quite sure of it. There are stone deposits near the mountain monastery. All right, fantastic. Ah. Suddenly he just went ah really loudly. <laughs> anyway, let's speed this along. We're gonna drop off ten tools here, um, and we're gonna take. 20... No, we'll take 30 wood. And actually, let's take... 15 tools. No, we'll make it 16 tools over to the new island. Alright. Let's get this set up. We need to get some... If I could exploit the iron deposit, I could actually start... Uh, I could start making tools, I think. I think we have the ability to make tools, right? Yeah, Toolmaker's Workshop. It takes so many tools. Iron smelter, that's 10 by itself. And the iron, the ore mine is 2. So we need... Oh, but these need stones, so we have to go get the stone first. Alright, so stonemason's hut costs wood and tools. Alright, no problem. Let's get some stone set up. Transfer. We'll just dump everything here. That seems good. So it's all here. So let's put down a lumber yard. We're going to have to hook this up to a road. Okay. So that Okay, that is going to be working. So that's bringing in some wood. We do need to set up 
Do I need to populate this island? I don't think I need to populate an island to get things working, right? So if I could just go ahead and set up a stonemason's quarry immediately. Do you think you could sell me the surplus from the stone production for my cathedral? Uh, only once the harbor is completed, of course. All right, so we could sell sell stone, is it? Orcas's mood darkens with every minute the harbor construction is delayed. You better commission a ship to move goods from one place to another more quickly. All right, so he's telling us to get a second ship. You produce ropes for shipbuilding and wood. The only thing missing now is the shipyard. Here, the shipyard. There's enough space for it on the coast of your island. The shipyard? Where is that? Uh, Harbour Defence Tower, Fountain, Small Shipyard. It takes four stone. Okay, so we got to bring four stone over this way to build a shipyard. Let's have a look here. What are we actually dealing with? Build a shipyard on the coast of one of your islands, build a small trading ship, and build the Harbour Master's office in Port Sacral. Use shipyards to expand your fleet. Okay, so there's quite a few things we got to do here. I'll need one iron mine, one coal mine, smelter, and tool maker. Yeah, I need coal as well, right? So, where is coal? Um, so I'll need a charcoal burner's hut, that's right. So just to get tool making going, it's gonna take a lot of stuff. I better go buy more tools now. I don't suppose you sell any. You better hurry up, or do I have to report your incompetence to the cardinal? No. Uh, what's over here? What is this? Oh, this is right. What do you... Fish and hemp? That's not useful. We need to go buy more tools. He's got more for sale. Fantastic. Not yet. <laughs> the preparations for the crusade have been very successful. But my band of knights is larger than I had ever imagined. I need linen garments. They should all have new clothing before we set off. Okay. So we need to get... Ore mine, charcoal burner's hut, iron smelter, and tool maker's workshop. So that means we're going to need 5, 10, 12, 14 tools. So we're just short two tools, actually. And we're going to need a bunch of wood, a bunch of money. Money's not an issue. We're still making money, yes. And stone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 8 stone and 14 tools. And... 12, 15, 25, 25, 33. Okay, we got enough wood. Okay, so we just need to bring two tools over and we'll actually, where's our boat? We bring two tools over and we'll be able to do it. Uh, two coal burners huts equals one coal mine. Oh, okay. Is, is there a difference between a coal mine? Oh, so there are coal mines and then there are charcoal burners huts, right? Access to workers is not necessary in this game, says Pharaoh himself. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that 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 does make things a little bit easier. How's anyway, a good deal is a How's the let's grab that. Where's our boat? Yes, yes, we're making progress. So let's bring you over here, and we can just set up everything oh, together. Yes. The way forecast treats us all is scandalous. Practically all of my ships have been requisitioned for the crusade, and I am the Emperor's cousin. Okay, that should be plenty of tools. Actually, I might have put too many tools here. No, I pressed... Uh, I just pressed the wrong button. I just upgraded this warehouse. Ah, I wanted... I wanted to take some tools back. <laughs> oh well, we got an upgraded warehouse, that's fine. Um, anyway, what we, what do we need to do? We need to get an ore mine for the iron. Marvelous. Okay. Extracting iron ore we need is the to first get important stage in iron production. Charcoal burner's hut, which needs to be... It needs wood, right? So I'm going to place it over here. We'll just keep everything nicely aligned. And we're going to need Charcoal an iron smelter. Started work already. Marvelous. We can just place that right... Here, I guess. Make things nice and clean. And the toolmaker's workshop, we're short one stone. Ah, wonderful. I see your iron smelter is completed. 
And then this road will come down this way. That's already hooked up there. And do we have... We just need one more stone. Come on, get us one stone and we'll actually be able to produce our own tools, which is going to be fantastic because tools are the only thing that we are short on. So if we can produce tools, that's going to be great. And I guess iron is used for weapons as well, right? I'm not sure if... Uh... We'll have to look at this to see if it's enough. Now we got two tools. Let's go ahead and get a tool maker's workshop right here. So you're working on the first tools. That's wonderful. Fantastic. Now we're gonna bring you back here because up here is gonna have, well, it's gonna start making its own tools. We could next set up another stonemason's hut. So we can max out all the production on this island. There we go. Ah, I like this island. This is only at 69%. Is it because there aren't enough trees in this area? Well, it looks like there's two coals set up here. No coals moving over to the iron smelter yet. Do I need to have another charcoal burner's hut? I think I might. I'm really not too sure. Oh, is it 69% because... Are they allowed to work outside of this region? I'm really not too sure. If someone could explain to me why this is 69%, do let me know. <laughs> it needs trees, not wood. There's a difference. Yeah. So this is chopping down trees to turn it into charcoal, which should be delivered here at some point, hopefully. Why is it not being delivered? It is hooked up to a road. Right? It is hooked up. There's three coal there. Maybe they just need to... Is this guy going to get it? I think he's going to get it. Okay, fantastic. Meanwhile, let's drop off that and have a look at what we could start building here. So we need to build a shipyard, which requires four stone. So we need to send this guy back over here. Okay. Charcoal is being sent over. So Pharaoh himself says, correct, they can't access areas outside of the influence area. So for this to be maximum efficiency, I got to build a small marketplace over on this side. Is that correct? Because if I do this, it increases my influence area. Correct? Oh, we could grow wheat on this island. That actually might be something that we want to do. How much does it cost to build a small market building? Two wood, three... So, yeah, it's not that expensive. If I just go ahead and do this... There we go, 100%. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, Snow Warning, the Scrooge, Pharaoh himself, uh, all giving tips in chat right now. So that's now 100%. Wait, where did the coal go? There's coal in the medium warehouse, but it's not... Are things just moving really slowly? I might want to uh, turn all of this into cobblestone road to make things move around faster, right? There's coal in our warehouse, but it's not being sent to the iron smelter yet. <laughs> Uh, is it just an issue of delivery or... Alright, so you... We're gonna take 10 stone back to here. Cool. 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 We're producing enough coal, but it's not being sent to the iron smelter. The warehouse needs to get it from the coal house, then the iron smelter has to get it from the warehouse. Very inefficient. The iron smelter is picking up directly would be way faster. So, if I were to... If I shift the iron smelter... to next to the charcoal burner's hut, would that actually be better. Like, if I were to put... Oh, we, we don't have enough resources.
Well, let's uh, let's just speed things along a little bit here. We'll just use up some of this insufficient building material. There we go. That might speed things along because right now I'm looking at this. Our coal is just stockpiling. Why is this not getting coal? Your smelter does not overlap with the coal burner, so you must take it from the warehouse. Okay, I understand that. But why is it not taking it from the warehouse? Production has been disrupted. I understand production has been disrupted. This is a little bit of a weird setback. The iron smelter is not in reach of the market house. Yeah, but can't they... Does it need to be a market building? Like, do I need to hook this up? Like, if I do this, does this need to get it from a market building and it can't get it from the warehouse? Is that the case? Production has been disrupted. Yes, I know, I know. What what is what is the issue here? We have coal in this warehouse. The way forecast treats us all. Feel free. The way I'd be delighted. The way forecast treats us all is. Let's bring some tools over this way. Practically all of my. The iron smelter needs to be in range of some building that has coal. It doesn't need roads for that. It needs them in range. Really, it needs to be in range. They can't go out and get it. So I should definitely delete, just delete this building. How's the ship building coming along? Are you making progress? I should just delete that completely. So it needs to be in range of this. Okay. Um, oh wait, we just got two tools. Ah, good. We just got two tools. We just produced two tools. So if I do this instead, Like that. I need five tools. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. I think it did actually get some coal. Where's my boat? You. Drop off some tools. Let's go ahead and build the iron smelter here. So here it was just out of range of the charcoal burner's hut. If I do this, it should now start getting the coal, right? If I am not mistaken, let's just speed it along. There we go, coal is coming in. <laughs> uh, iron ore should also come in at some point. Come on, where's the iron ore? Plants has stopped producing goods. There we go, and the toolmaker's workshop is in range of the iron smelter. Tools are on the way, fantastic. Now, let's pick up a bunch of stone. Uh, you, let's just grab all of that. We're gonna bring this back here. What is stopped? Oh, we've maxed out on stuff here. Okay. Now, what do we need to build that small shipyard? We can actually do it. Splendid. The first ship can soon be launched. Small trading ship. Small warship cannot be built. We need 20 weapons. So let's get a small trading ship. Okay, building our first ship in Anno, 1404. Cargo holds three. It costs one, is that one population on ships? 20 ropes, 15 wood, 1,500. And it does take time to build, okay. Fantastic. So now this place is generating stone and tools, right? Yes, we're producing tools, finally. Okay, good. And this is still at, it's at 99%? That's good enough. When you cl uh, click on any production building, it needs to, uh, in, its needs should be colored green to indicate that they are in range. Ah, yes. Or it needs a market building in range. Okay, it, it had the warehouse in range, but apparently that wasn't good enough. All right. So, oh, we've almost got a small ship. 
and always a good few inches of water under the keel. Let's see. Now, what did he want? Build the harbor masters, ten linen garments for Marie de Atois. Where's my boats? So you, uh, dropping off these things, will take our new ship, ten linen garments to Marie de Atois. You are gonna go over this way, no problem. If you don't mind my saying, I would recommend setting up a trading route for the stone transport. With all the quests forecast has entrusted you with, you must have more important things on your mind. A trading route? Okay, so... I think I, I did experiment with this a little bit. Sh routing. Okay. So we have the Santa Maria. I want to create a new route. And the warehouse is gonna be... Which one? Hookburg. Okay. So we want to go from Hookburg, and we are going to pick up stone, like all of it, and we are going to pick up tools, like not, not all of it. How do I change the amount? Just pick up like five tools or something, not all of them. We want some tools to stay there. Just get five tools, and we want to go to Falconstone so that we can unload all the stone and unload all the tools, right? This is correct, correct? And we want the Santa Maria. And off it goes. Can I... I don't know why I can click that, but I think I did this right. We're gonna go to Hookburg, pick up stone and tools, and we're gonna go to Falconstone and drop off stone and tools. But we don't need stone here, do we? We need this to go to... Port Sacral, right? Uh, unload stone, unload tools. Okay, that's what we need to do, right? I think so. Yes. Has received his instructions. Wonderful. Now you can concentrate fully on your more important quests. Can I build a small marketplace on this island? This no overlap. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. The knights will wear them with honor. Construction area is blocked. I'm just trying to see if it's possible to get. A marketplace. Oh so many knights want to accompany me to the promised land. I must build more ships immediately. I beg you, help me with this important quest. So we gotta get wood over there as well. Let's take all the wood and drop off all the wood. So we need to up our wood production on this island. Okay, I think I've got a plan. There's so much overlap. Here we go. That should that should be good. We'll do that and we'll link this up. So we get a bit more wood production on this island. So now we're going to pick up tools, stone and wood from here and send it down here, which we need uh, to build. What does he want us to build? A harbor master's office, which is a okay, this. So we just need 14 stone and some wood and some tools. Okay. Okay, good. I think I've done it. I think it's on the way. <laughs> I think it's all working. Ah, I should be able to move that pin if you want to set manual route around the islands. Handy if you want to avoid enemy ships and ports, Pharaoh himself says. So I could actually... Oh, I see. I can... How do I... Okay, right click to get rid of it. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you for that. That makes sense. Now, let's go get this ship and we're gonna bring this where do I want to keep this let's just bring it over here we could sell the extra stone right deliver to Marie de Artois and Ingle oh she wants 40 wood I didn't realize yeah we can go get 40 wood for her and 
build a harbor masters off office so we're just sort of developing a high level harbor on this island so this is all military small military camp provisions house big military camp these are watchtowers okay so we got a bunch of military camps and the crusade is going to be launched from here the 40 tons of wood needs to be uh, sent in a ship to Marie City, not move to Port Sacral. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I know that. Uh, I'm moving stuff here because I need stuff on this island so that I can build all the things uh, Guy Forcus wants me to build on this island. The wood I'm gonna pick up from home. Two ships is definitely good. Can we get another ship? We could actually get another ship. It is not that expensive. Let's build another ship. Now, I think our boat has just arrived here. So it automatically unloads. Let's make sure it's it's doing things correctly. So I think according to the trade route, it costs gold to do this, right? I think it costs some money. Well, where's... Oh, it did. Okay, now we got the stuff we need, so let's go ahead and build that Harbor Master's office. Good things come to those who wait. <sighs> I better view the building to assure myself personally that everything is ship shape. So, this boat, I want to pick up. How much was it? 40. There's actually not quite enough here. We, we used it all up. We need to wait for five more. Okay. But we got the Harbor Master's office. I don't exactly it is done. know what... The Crusader ship is finished. May God protect this ship and bless all those who are prepared to fight for the true faith. I, I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> Informs you that another ship for the Crusader fleet has been completed in her harbor. So she's completing well, Crusader ships. Taking ages to build the harbor master's office, I have been gathering supplies. But this warehouse is much too small. How is that warehouse upgrade progressing? Do I have to say everything twice? No, no, you didn't even have to say it once. I did it before you finished your sentence. <laughs> Game saved. Game saved. I thought I disabled autosave, but there we go. What? You call that an expansion? The storerooms are hardly bigger than before. This is totally unacceptable. It's fine. It's fine. We need storehouses to store the goods. You can see the size of my Crusader army and the amount of supplies needed. Get a move on. Build four storehouses. Oh, storehouses have to be... Can they... Requires water or coast. So we need to build four storehouses, like out this way. Insufficient building materials, we just need more stone. So how much is it? No, we have enough. Oh, building those little piers. If you don't build this tavern soon, the knights will start rampaging over the land. Oh, I see. So it needs to be like right up against these things. Ah, I see, I see. Yep, there we go. God bless you. Now I can build more ships. I would like to thank you appropriately. Uh, one shipwright's hammer and money. What do I do with a shipwright's hammer? Reduce the building cost of ships in a settlement has turned a large number of planks into proud ships. So I want to put this in here, right? Okay, okay. Now what do we bring over here? Five more tools. 30 more wood. How, how many tools are we actually making on this island? I think we can up the number of tools we take to 10. There we go. So we're taking all the wood, all the tools, all the stone. This little stone road is actually quite nice. Let's, uh... So each little thing costs, like, 
another stone. Okay. But there's plenty of stone to go around. 3,900 tons there. Yep, yep. Plenty of resources. All right. So let's speed this along. So you needs to drop off of that. So building ships here is now cheaper, I think. If we wanted another ship. Build a tavern in Falconstone and replace it so that at least six citizen houses are situated in the area. He wanted us to build a tavern in Falconstone. Do we not have a tavern? How much is it for a tavern? Where's the tavern? Uh, carpenter's out for a tavern. There we go. Needs 15 wood. We can almost... And how many houses? Six citizen houses. We can do that right now. Well, this... This dive doesn't look particularly inviting. But it will have to do for the knights. All right, the knights got a tavern. Now here, we need to continue to build the small storehouses. So we're just gonna be efficient about this. One, two. Oh, we didn't bring over enough tools. Damn, we gotta wait for another round. Let's uh, speed this along a little bit. I hope you do notice, I'd have no objection to a fair- Did you notice how secretively Guy Forecast was behaving? I get the strange feeling that there's something fishy about this crusade. <laughs> you don't say there's something fishy about Guy Fawkes. Ah, tell me something I don't know. So, oh, you can just buy tools from the mountain monastery? I was bringing tools over here. Why didn't any of you guys tell me you could do that? I didn't know you could trade with the Mountain Monastery. <laughs> Look at that, I was bringing tools over here from Lord... Like, all the way over here on boats. Apparently Brother Hilarious, you could just buy them. You guys. <laughs> you should have told me that. Ah. Anyway, we're sending over a supply of tools. Let's just bring this on over. We just need to get the four storehouses down right now. Wait, that's not our boat. God knows many ways of converting doubters to the just faith. The crusade is just one of them. But this guy, Focus, he seems to delight in preparing for war. Four storehouses. There we go. There you are. I knew you could do it. At last, I can store provisions and equipment here. You say the harbor is completed? Yep. I better see this for myself. Hoist the sails. Is he actually? The harbor construction could certainly have been completed much more quickly. Well, we still have much to do. From now on, you will help me with the rest of the preparations. Okay. It is done. The Crusader ship is finished. We got another Crusader ship. Fantastic. I have asked the best armorers in the Empire to come to equip the Crusader army with new weapons. And I expect you to provide the iron required immediately. All right. We do have 10 iron in our warehouse right now. I'm just sort of concerned that it'll actually be taken up for some reason. Um... We'll send a boat over. So we need to deliver it's 10 iron to Guy Forcus. How many knights are prepared to take up arms for God and their fa God be praised. You have completed the harbor. My captains are already under orders to assemble the vanguard of the Crusader fleet there. Oh, we are actually losing money. I got to up taxes. <laughs> I did not realize we were losing money. Now, is our ship here yet? No. Let's get the ship over here. Do we still have 10 iron? We do have 10 iron. Fantastic. Now, if we if we didn't have 10 iron, I'd have to destroy my iron smelter to uh, to do that, um, <laughs> which is a little awkward. But we're going to get the 10 iron over, and we need to deliver four small trading ships to Guy Forcus in Tuckingham. So how many do we have right now? We have one, we have two. So we gotta get another one. Let's build another small trading ship while we're at it. 
So we just have to... Is that where we have to deliver our trading ships? I think so. So let's speed things along. Are we making money? We are still making some money, but I might want to up the number of citizens. Can I just build a bunch of houses? Well, this is a start anyway. Maybe you will manage to completely satisfy my request eventually. There we go. Built a bunch of houses. That's going to up our population, and it ah, should. Are you bringing me that iron at last? Or yes. Must be well, this is a start anyway. Maybe you will manage to complete. One of my ships was damaged during the crossing. A sign from God that all the ships must be ship shape again before we set off for the Orient. Okay. Is this of purest quality? We don't want the knight's blades to break. When <laughs> We're just completing objectives. Now, extend the harbor in Port Sacral by adding repair crane. A repair crane. How do I build one of those? Coffin's house, defense tower, small house, repair crane. We can actually do it right now. What's a good way to do it? So this should be out in the water like that, right? Like this? This is good, I think. You have complied with God's wishes. Now all of these ships will be able to make the long voyage to the Orient in perfect condition. All right. So we need to build one more ship here, but we're short on cash. Uh, I think at this point, this harbor should have... You should perhaps reconsider your transport routes and issue new orders to the captain. Yes, so I want to get rid of Port Sacral. And actually, let's just... I don't think we need to be shipping things around anywhere. We'll just bring this guy back home. And we can deliver this third ship. News from the Cardinal. We are setting sail. I shall lead these ships eastward to shake the very foundations of this spurious faith. Don't worry, we will meet again soon. The so long. Promised. Marie d'Artois, the a little bit overzealous, but then again, she's a crusader, so... <laughs> for some advanced trading, you could uh, set up warehouses and loads uh, for money. It's very profitable. Oh, you mean like set... Right, we need money, right? So if we actually... We can sell. I think he said we could sell stone, right? I very much regret that I cannot sell you any more tools. I too must do my part for the crusade. Okay, but you said we could sell you stone, right? We could do with a little boost of money right now. Well, this is a start anyway. Maybe you will manage to completely satisfy my request eventually. All right, let's drop. The doors of my storehouses are always open to you. That's not a lot of money. But it means we could set up a trade route. So we could add uh, Hookberg to take all the stone and we could set it to go to Cathedral City to sell stone. Where's our... Or does it have to be... No, Santa Maria. Yeah. So add ship Santa Maria. That works, right? This will sell stone automatically to to him, right? I think so. Very sell good. any good goods at your warehouse? How do you sell goods? Like you can't just sell it straight out from here, right? Do I have enough? I need 1500. You can't just, uh, you need to check your money balance by clicking on the money icon in the top left corner. I mean, it just shows your income, right? Yeah, my income's shown down here. Uh, so, yeah, it's there. <laughs> uh, we are making money, <clears throat> but uh, we just need a bit more to build one more boat. We've got three boats here. 
So we can just speed things along. And if I'm, if this trading route is set up correctly, we should automatically be selling stone, right? That's how it works. Or we could just wait until our money stockpiles to 1,500. So he's now carrying 25 stone. So doing this should actually make us money, right? Let's just 1,400. Yes, it does automatically make us money. Fantastic. Building the fourth ship. Let's just speed things along. So selling that extra stone does actually boost our income. Fantastic. Ship ready. Ship ready. And you can sail over to here and we'll deliver the final fourth trading ship to Guy Forkus. And I think that should win us the mission. You don't need to worry about these ships anymore. I am now taking command. Fantastic. Uh, you can actually sell directly from your warehouse too. There's a trading tab. Really? Now before we win this mission, trading. So we could sell. Right? So then we could change the amount we want to sell. Okay. Where's the... Oh, this means people will come to buy from me? Is that... Is that how it works? This has not been explained to me yet. But either way... Good. Cardinal Lucius will be extremely pleased with my work. Did you notice how secretively Guy Forecast was behaving? Yes, you've said. You've said. <laughs> Aha! A toolmaker's workshop. Of course, I'm right to assume that you built it to supply the Crusaders. In that case, I await your delivery. Fifteen tools, no problem. We can, we've got ten on this boat right now. Let's just bring you on over to grab five tools from here. And... One, two, three, four, five. Send you over here. It is here, right? No, no, it's down here. Deliver it to Port Sacral. So as long as I can take this boat away and once I leave him idle, he'll continue his trade route. I think that's that's how it's going to work. Finally brought those tools yep, got the, the tools. I can help you with. Oh, there we go. Lord Richard Northborough bought ropes and hemp and it gave me a thousand three hundred and sixty. Have you carried wow. out the quest with great diligence? At yes. last. We will soon set sail. Order everyone aboard. Cardinal Lucius will join us later when we are assembled at the border of the Oriental Realm. Fantastic. Did it. <laughs> I, uh, I've heard some worrying rumors about this crusade. These shoddily built ships. Don't speak out loud. We must talk in private. All right, apparently those shoddily built ships are a problem. Hurry up and cast off. The bawling from those brats is utterly unbearable. They should be grateful that they are able to contribute to this crusade. Wow, look at those things. Their sails are made out of bed sheets or something. <laughs> It doesn't happen by just going on idle. You actually have to press a button to return to trade route. Okay, thank you, Pharaoh himself. So, those four ships don't look like they're going to make it to the Orient. Not to me. I don't think they're going to make it. <laughs> it looks a bit... Yeah, soiled bed sheets. It's a weird thing. Now, we didn't get full points. We didn't get a huge responsibility, which is, I think, this is, these quests only appear when you set it to higher difficulties, I think. But we didn't get Cathedral Construction Delayed and Population Census. I don't know what those were, were. but anyway, that was Chapter 3 in Anno 1404. Ah, fantastic. Uh, I think I can go one more 
I can go, ooh, there's a good number of you watching right now. I can, I can go one more chapter to, today. But we're gonna go on for a quick break. Thank you so much for watching here on twitch.tv slash gamesack. We're gonna go on to chapter four, the lost children in the next part. And we're gonna see, looks like we are heading down to the Orient. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.